I really like peaches. Mushrooms. I like a lot of different fruits. This I don't like any kind of potatoes. They don't like spinach. That stuff's gross. Do you know, like, those long green things and they look like they're sticks with those... Asparagus? Stuff? Yeah, I hate those. <laughs> Why do we like what we like? Everything is an interaction of genes and environment. With a doctorate in biological psychology, Marsha Pell Shaw works as a food preference expert at Monell Chemical Senses Center, a Philadelphia nonprofit which studies taste and smell. Her job, trying to answer the age-old question of why we do or don't desire certain dishes. To show how genes can influence taste, she had me sample this clear liquid. This is a chemical that some people find to be bitter and others can barely taste it all. What foods would this correlate to? Broccoli, cabbage. All right, here I go. Turns out that because of our genes, about 75% of Americans have this reaction. It's very bitter to me. And our genes help govern another way in which we respond to food, through our noses. We have hundreds of different smell receptor genes. Who, who wants to try it now? In fact, it's actually our sense of smell that helps us determine many flavors, as Pelshot demonstrated with a group of third graders at Philadelphia's Frankfurt Friends School. Everyone got licorice and banana jelly beans and a nose clip. The children had to close their eyes and pick a jelly bean. Banana. Okay, now take the clips off. Ew, I have a Ew, ew, ew. Those who study food preference say that more than anything, even genetics, our favorite foods are determined by what we've been exposed to and our memories. Ribs and broccoli. Because the way my dad makes the ribs, it just takes super, super good. And when my mom makes broccoli, it tastes so good. I, mean, I love it. On the other hand, lack of familiarity with food can breed contempt. Have you ever tried liver? No. Do you want to try liver? Is it liver? It's liver. OK, no, I don't want to try liver. <laughs> But liver, even raw liver, is on the menu at Takashi, a Japanese-Korean fusion restaurant in Lower Manhattan, where the focus is on beef, delicacies like tongue, beef tendon stew, and cow testicles. Believe it or not, folks line up to get in. Marsha Shah describes those who go for the exotic as adventure eaters people who may have overcome both their genetic predispositions and the fact that they've never been exposed to a food. Oh my God, man. that's really good, man. It's certainly normal for kids to be a little hesitant to try new things. Adults realize that's not going to kill them. So that's how your faithful correspondent found herself tasting one of Chef Takashi's specialties one he grew up eating in his hometown, Osaka, Japan. This is large intestine. Large intestine. <laughs> and you like this. This is my favorite cut. After a few minutes of grilling... It's almost like crispy bacon. It's very chewy. Mm -hmm. Supposed to be, yes. Uh, I think the secret is the sauce. <laughs> In the end, we do have the ability to change what we like to eat. As with so much in life, it's a question of mind over matter.